cardiac emergency can occur when an injury or illness causes a person's heart to stop functioning normally or stop beating altogether. When a heart is working normally, it beats evenly and easily with a steady rhythm. When the heart isn't working normally, a person's breathing can be disrupted or stopped. And if a heart stops beating, this means cardiac arrest has occurred. Being able to recognize the signs and symptoms of a cardiac emergency could enable you to save a life. Let's take a look at one of the most common cardiac emergencies, the heart attack. A heart attack occurs when blood to the heart is interrupted, causing cells in the area to die and the heart muscle to become damaged. One major symptom of a heart attack is a tightness, pressure, or pain in the chest that continues or comes back despite resting or taking medication. Pain may spread to the shoulder, arm, neck, jaw, stomach, or even the back. Some people suffering a heart attack may feel dizzy or sweat heavily. Both men and women can experience similar symptoms of a heart attack, like chest pain, although fewer women experience chest pain than men. Other symptoms can include shortness of breath, nausea or vomiting, pale skin, sweating, anxiety, back or jaw pain, and unexplained fatigue. If the person is responsive and able to chew and swallow, a suspected heart attack can be helped with 2 to 4 62 mg low-dose aspirin or a single chewed 325 mg adult aspirin if available. Only give aspirin if the person is responsive, able to chew and swallow, and is allowed to have aspirin. To make sure they can have it, ask if the person is allergic to aspirin, has a stomach ulcer or stomach disease, is taking any blood thinners, or has ever been told by a doctor to avoid aspirin. By recognizing the signs and symptoms of a heart attack, you may be able to help someone suffering from a possible heart attack and prevent cardiac arrest. Sometimes, cardiac arrest is unavoidable. This is where the cardiac chain of survival comes in. The links in the adult cardiac chain of survival offer the best chance of survival. You play an important role in the first three links. These links include early recognition of cardiac arrest and activation of the emergency response system. Call 911 or the local emergency number as soon as you recognize the signs of cardiac arrest. Early CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR, is a life-saving technique that keeps oxygen-rich blood flowing to the heart and brain. Early defibrillation, an electrical shock called defibrillation, may help restore an effective heart rhythm. An automated external defibrillator, or AED as they're commonly called, is a device that administers a shock. Early advanced medical care, EMS personnel can provide additional life-saving care and transport the person to the hospital for more advanced care. And finally, integrated post-cardiac arrest care. Once the person is resuscitated, medical professionals stabilize their condition, minimize complications, and diagnose and treat the cause of the cardiac arrest. Notice that each of the first four links begins with early. That's because the faster you recognize signs and symptoms and react, the better chance a person has to survive a cardiac emergency.